in this example we are asked to solve for the magnitude and direction of the shear stress that this water is applying on the bottom surface and the free surface in this example we are also given the velocity profile of the water which is a parabolic velocity profile given by this formula so let's let's look at the solution to this problem now we know that the shear stress um, acting on a fluid depends on the its viscosity and the velocity gradient so shear stress is given by viscosity the dynamic viscosity times the velocity gradient du by dy so in this case u is basically equal to capital u times this quadratic term and now if we just substitute this velocity in in the formula for the stress we would get the expression for the shear stress acting on the bottom plate as bottom wall as well as the top surface so let's find out the derivative du by dy it is equal to capital u times 2 by h because the the derivative of this first the derivative of this first bracket term is just 1 uh, 1 by h and then the derivative of this second bracket term is 2 times y by h square now so substituting this derivative in the expression for the shear expression for the shear stress we get tau y x equal to mu times capital u times 2 by h minus 2 y by h square so this is the expression for the shear stress but now we are asked to find the shear stress on the base and the free surface so the base the value of y is basically equal to 0 so tau y x at the base is tau y x where y is equal to 0 and if you substitute y equal to 0 this term what you will get is tau y x to be equal to mu u divided into 2 by h minus 2 into 0 by h square so this term becomes 0 so tau y x base is basically 2 times the viscosity times u divided by h so this is the magnitude of the shear stress acting on the base and this this is the stress acting on the fluid due to the base so if we zoom in near the base and we concert it on a fluid element which is close to the base from our sign convention we know that positive stress acting on this fluid element will be will be directed as shown by these arrows so 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 on this fluid element the shear stress acting due to the base at the bottom surface is directed in the negative direction so the stress acting on the base due to the fluid will be directed in the opposite direction that means in the 
positive direction. Now similarly, at the free surface, y is equal to h. And if we substitute y is equal to h in this formula, say 3. So what that will give us is mu times capital U times 2 by h minus 2 into h by h square. And if you simplify this, you will get that the yx, the free surface, is exactly equal to 0. Yes, so basically the shear stress acting on acting on the base due to the fluid element is 2 times the dynamic viscosity times u divided by h and it acts in the positive x direction while the shear stress on the free surface is exactly equal to 0 